Hi, this is a video on how to remove the LCD screen from a BlackBerry Z10. As you can see, I've got one here. I've got a nice smash screen on it. Um, so first thing we want to do, obviously, remove the battery cover. Uh, remove the battery. Um, if you've got um, a memory card in there or a SIM card, you want to remove that as well. Right, so the first thing we want to, going to, want to do is get a T4 screwdriver and there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws to remove. So three along the top, three down the middle here, one here covered by a warranty sticker and one, two, three along the bottom. So if you want to start removing those nine screws and then just putting them to one side Right, so once you've removed your nine screws and put them to one side, you want to get an opening tool and we're going to want to start working it along the edges to remove this, this black plastic plate on the back here. So just get your opening tool and just start running it along. So obviously that just pops off like that. Well, as you can see, we're now down to the uh, actual circuit board itself. Um, and there are quite a few ribbons that we want to want to remove. Uh, five in total, I believe. So you've got one here that needs one clip. Another one here. And there's two here, but also under this bigger one, there's another little one. So one, two, three, and then two under here. So if we just lift them up. So if you lift that big one up, as you can see just under there, there's another tiny little one. All right, so once you've done that, we should now be able to just gently, not like that, gently lift out the circuit board. So there we go. Right, now the next thing we need to do, there are several tiny little screws in here. Um, if you can see there's one there, one there, two on the other side. So one, two, three, four there. There's also three up the top, one right here, one there next to the earpiece, and another one there right on the end. And they're actually holding this frame in at the front that holds the screen in, so they all need to come out. So if you just start taking these screws out, one, two, there, one, two on the other side, one, two, three at the top. So once you've removed all those um, little screws from three from the top and two from each side, we can now turn it over and we can now start to um, get the screen out. So we've got these three ribbons here down the bottom. You can see they're all connected. You just need to start peeling those back like that because the ribbon actually feeds through down the bottom here. And you might need to heat the front up um, if it's if it's quite stuck in there. Um, but just get an opening tool and start working it from the top first because the bottom has got three little clips that clip in so just start working it from the top with an opening tool prying it up until it just pops out like that feed the ribbons through and there we go, as I said down the bottom here you've got these clips that slide in so you have to work it from the top first to get the screen out so that's the old screen so 
So, as you can see, I've got a brand new screen here. So, I need to loosen these up like that. Right now, we need to be, need to be very careful because we need to feed these through this little hole here. Can be a bit tricky. Alright, there we go. Once they're through, you then need to obviously at the bottom slide the little clips in and then pop the screen back down like that. So just make sure the ribbons are okay. Pop them down. Right, so the next thing you want to be doing obviously is screwing the tiny little screws that we just removed, two at the side, three at the top, back in um, to hold the frame back in. You just want to start screwing those back in. Right, so I'm just popping the last screw back in now. Right, so there we go, it's the last screw back in of those tiny little ones that hold the frame in. So now, you get your circuit board, and that's what we're going to put it back in. So, just at the top here, if we just lift, lift those up, ribbons up, pop that in. Now a case of clipping all the, make sure the board's sitting in there and clipping these these cables back down. So one at the top there, another one there. And obviously now your three, your three for your screen, new screen. These ones can be a little bit tricky. Right, so once you've clipped all, all the ribbons back down, it'd be a case of getting the plastic piece that we removed at the start and just fitting that back down, clipping it back on. So just clip that back down, make sure it's, it's all the way around. Like that, make sure everything's all clipped in. And there we go. And <clears throat> it'll be a case now of screwing back down the nine screws we removed right at the start. I'll just screw this warranty one back in. Like so, I'm just gonna just gonna screw a couple back in, um, just so we're not here all day. Just gonna screw one down in the bottom corner.
Right, so like I said, I'm just going to just going to screw a couple in for now. Um, so once that's done, you can put your SIM card back in and your memory card. Um, pop the battery back in. I'll see your battery cover as well back on. Um, and that is how you replace the LCD screen on a BlackBerry Z10. There we go. Um, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you did like it, please thumbs up and please subscribe.